Hello and welcome to this video on how to remove punctuation from a text file. In this video, I'm going to be working with uh, a bit of code that I discovered a while back on machinelearningmastery.com. And I'll pro provide a link to the in the description below. Uh, what we're going to do here, though, is talk strictly about a problem that we often face in uh, digital humanities when we're working with texts. Sometimes we need to work with raw text files, meaning we need to work with just the words. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly remove all punctuation from a text file. And I think this is going to be part of a series of text manipulation videos. And we're going to be working with this file right here, uh, Alice in Wonderland. And uh, Alice in Wonderland has uh, been a subject for DH projects for a long time, going back about 20 years or so. Um, people keep on coming back to it. I don't know why. I think it's a good book. I'm not one of my favorites. But that's beside the point. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to read in this data, this entire text file, which I got off of the Gutenberg project. It's in the public domain. And we're going to remove every single thing we can find that is a punctuation, such as periods, commas, quotation marks, etc. And we're going to replace them with nothing. And we're going to return a new object after we manipulate it that is essentially just a list of words. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do that. Now, the way in which we're going to do it is we're going to import the string module or the string library. And we're going to use this library, which is quite powerful, probably one of the more powerful libraries for working with um, text files, with the exception of regex. And we're going to do um, uh, something a little different than what's on machinelearningmastery.com. Uh, we're going to use a with operator. We're going to say with open... We're going to open up the Alice text file, alice.txt, which is the file name over here. And we're going to open it up, uh, and we're going to just want to read it. So we're going to just read it as R. We're going to set that object to F. And so what we're going to say in our first bit of code within the with operator is text equals, equals f.read. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a text object that is going to be the entire file. Now, if you've seen my video series on Python for the Digital Humanities, then you'll know that a great way to troubleshoot your code as you go through and create it is to print it off so you can make sure that what's happening in the code is what you want to have happen. And if we print it off, we see in our output that it is, in fact, everything that we wanted to see. It is the entire text file. So, lovely. That bit is working. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take all of that data and separate it into individual words. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make a new object. Words is going to be equal to text.split. And what split is going to do, in case you haven't seen my uh, video tutorial on uh, working with string data on a rudimentary level, uh, split is going to essentially separate everything up into individual words. This will be very nice. Now we're going to start calling functions from that, uh, calling items from that string module. So we're going to create a table, and that table is going to be equal to str string dot make trans. And what we're going to do is we are going to pass in two arguments, or three arguments. I apologize. The first two are going to be uh, nothingness, and the second one, and this is where our string module is going to come in. We're going to pass in string dot punctuation. And what string.punctuation does, let me print it off for you. Print string. And you'll see this in the output. String.punctuation provides us a list of all different kinds of punctuation that might exist in a text. You have everything from dollar signs and ampersands to uh, plus signs to periods to colons to semicolons, etc. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to pass that data into this uh, make transition argument. And in the next line of code, allow us to essentially remove everything. So we're going to create a new object, and that's going to be stripped, and this can be anything that you want. And we're going to say a w.translate table. So we're going to call that object there, that information. And we are going to tell it to do that for wn words. So essentially for every single occurrence of a word in our list of words that we saw up here with split, we want to go through and see if it has any of these punctuations and remove those punctuations. So before we run this, let's look at what's happening before and after. So I'm going to print off words as it's split up. And if we see here, we can see that chapter uh, is looking fine, but I has got a period after it. When we uncomment this out and we run 
our new object of stripped, you will see something that looks identical, but without punctuation. And we see that the period after the I is now gone. In fact, if you go through this whole list of words, let's see how long it actually is. We're going to use the length. And all right, 29, almost 30,000 words. So all 30,000 words have now been stripped of any punctuation that might come after them. And what you have now is a cleaned up a text file with pure words that are separated into a list. And now you can start manipulating them. If you want to combine all these into a, or we kind of reassemble them into a long string of letters, you can do that very easily. You can use the join function and add that. And we're going to pass this in and simply say stripped. And we're going to make a new object uh, assembled equals that. And then we are going to print off assembled and you will see that we now have everything back uh, back together uh, one thing it didn't take into account as you can see there is it looks like it hasn't taken into account uh, line breaks possibly oh no rabbit hole is one word that's why uh, so you can kind of see how you can very simply import your string module and remove all punctuation and even reassemble your, uh, your data back into a very long string of text that you can start to work with and manipulate in your Python program. So that's all for this video.